Thank you very much. Uh, I'm Daryl Steinberg. I'm the state senator from uh, Senate District 6 here in Sacramento. And as has been spoken about already uh, this morning, it's no secret that transportation sources account for over 40 percent of the carbon emissions produced in the state. And more environmentally friendly fuel standards is an obvious part of has to be an obvious part of the strategy and our plan. If you look at the 2006 Climate Action Report, they say that to meet our goals, we're going to have to reduce 7.3 million metric tons of carbon emissions by 2010 from transportation alone and 27 million tons by 2020. How do we do that? My bill uh, looks at another very important part of the strategy, and that is planning and growth. I am carrying the so-called VMT bill, and you're going to hear a lot about VMT this year, I'm sure, not just from Senate Democrats, but from others as well. VMT is vehicle miles traveled. It's an important new measurement tool that regional planners can use to measure individual and household car trips. Obviously, the more miles cars travel, the more carbon there is in the air. And the more we incentivize and promote development that reduces vehicle miles traveled, the better chance we will have to meet these very important and aggressive reduction of metric tons of carbon by the years anticipated here. So what does my bill do? It streamlines the CEQA process. For projects that reduce vehicle miles by 10 percent, through more pedestrian-friendly and higher-density development. You reduce VMTs by 10%, you get an expedited planning process under the environmental laws. The bill also will task the Transportation Commission, California, the Air Resources Board, all air districts, to adopt and certify the modeling guidelines for use in showing reductions in vehicle miles traveled and climate change change emissions. In other words, the state ought to take the lead in doing the modeling to show the relationship between reduction in vehicle miles traveled and reduction in carbon emissions. But the point of the bill is to say that the way we plan, the way we grow, and the number of vehicle miles traveled we can reduce by virtue of our, our local, regional, and state planning decisions the better chance we will have to meet these aggressive goals. Thank you.